Hey everybody, Frenchin here with REIClub.com and the site you'll need as a real estate investor. Today's quick video, we're going to be talking about how to choose a real estate seminar and get the best bang for your buck. Now there are hundreds if not thousands of real estate investing seminars being held every year. So how do we figure out which one is the best fit for you? Well let's find out. Now before even purchasing it, there are a few things you really have to think about. Now. Whether you got a you know direct mail or you were exiting a page or you got an email from an REI group, however it was that you got this information, it's always very important to find out exactly what you are getting for the cost of the seminar. Okay, uh, whether it's gonna be books, CDs, maybe a contact Rolodex, it's very important to ask and clarify everything that you are getting. I'm putting a lot of emphasis on this now. You also want to find out what the cost of the room and the flight are. And if you're able to split this cost with, say, maybe a business partner, a family member, or someone you want to bring along with you, okay? Now, you also want to find out if they're a discounted rate at the hotel. It's usually, you know, categorized under a room block, so it's always good to ask about that. And you want to find out what the dates of the events are. You know, in case you can't make the one they're advertising for, can you attend any one throughout the year or even next year? You also want to identify how many speakers are going to be at the event and what their topics are going to be. Now, usually, two to four speakers is more than enough for a weekend, including the course educator and the expert, okay? Now, you know, events with tons of speakers are usually called sellathons, and the, for those who have attended, attended multiple seminars, have at least been to one of these and know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. Now you also want to find out what the money back guarantee is. Are you supposed to return before going or do you have till the last day? Uh, I've seen it go both ways. You also want to ask to see an agenda. Now if you're given an excuse of, oh, we don't want this agenda leaking out, all you have to say is it will help in my decision in signing up and more than likely they'll accommodate you. Okay. Now like I said before, like you know, all this research that you're doing is very important. It's your due diligence. But it's also very important to have a hard copy of everything that you are expected to rece uh, receive. Verbal, uh, uh, ver verbal confirmations, whatever it may be, it just doesn't really mean anything unless you have the paperwork, the hard, hard copy, okay? And if anything, call to verify everything. Any questions you may have, concerns prior to purchasing. Don't forget, you're spending a high dollar. You want to feel comfortable with this purchase. Now, the, let's, you know, once we've figured out the seminar, let's talk about the actual seminar itself. Um, the importance of networking, okay? Always have business cards on you. If you don't, you can get them made for pretty cheap from Kinko's, Office Max. You can get about 1,000 made for about 20, 25 bucks, okay? You also wanna be proactive and initiate conversation. Nobody knows you here at this event, okay? So utilize the first day to really just build rapport and let people know who you are. You also want to ask questions such as, you know, where are they from? Why are they here? You know, how long have they been investing for? What do they invest in? Simply just find questions that you're sincerely interested about that may help you and your business, okay? Now, find in, uh, investors with similar interests or have connections that may help you, whether realtors, contractors, brokers, title companies, whatever it may be, okay? But keep a lookout for that. Now, you also want to find out who the action takers are and avoid the professional students, the one who attend seminars, who buy courses, but have yet to buy a property, okay? No offense to them, it's just that if you already have a few deals under your belt, you want to find like-minded investors so you can kind of move forward together. Okay. Now, some really helpful tips for you is that you want to utilize the breaks between sessions to socialize. So don't just sit there or go out there and get on your phone. You're there to network. You're there to meet people. So do so. You also want to utilize meals for meetings. What that means is schedule you know, the people that you've networked with. Schedule a breakfast meeting with them or a lunch or dinner. It's your way to get about 30 to about an hour, 30 minutes to an hour of like um, masterminding time. You never know what you'll learn from this group. And you also want to skip sessions that may not be helpful for you. Uh, you can also potentially run into people who have that same kind of situation or are in the same boat as you, who may say may not need marketing or may not need internet help. So it's good to find like-minded people that way. You also want to stay up, uh, stay up late, wake up early. You know, be that person. Utilize your time efficiently and talk it. Try to network as much as possible. You may learn as much from these networking events than in the actual sessions themselves. Okay. Now let's go and talk about how to maximize your education. Really just stay engaged with the speaker. Myself, I like to sit in the first couple of rows because it helps me listen better and take better notes. It applied to me during school as well. You also want to ask, ask any questions that come to mind because you never know this could be your last chance. You know, you want to take notes, and if you're not able to keep up with the pace of the speaker or just slow about it, ask for the printouts of the presentation. You may not always get it, and it's not always guaranteed, but it's worth a try, okay? You also want to follow up with your contacts and networks that you made at this event. Don't just let them sit there. Be an action taker. Use what you were taught, okay? And 
If you need to buy additional courses, coaching, events, um, it's okay as long as the info is good and it's helpful to your business, okay? It's always important to remember that you, you're able to make money with what you learn, okay? And the worst thing you can do is not do anything at all. Now, real estate summers are a great source for furthering your education as real estate investors. And now, it's also a great opportunity to meet other like-minded investors who share similar goals as you. Now, but in order to find the right seminar that best fits you, there's a lot of work that you have to put in first, okay? Remember not to be fooled by all the bells and whistles, the whining and dining. You paid good money to be at this event to learn and hopefully make money with what you've learned. So again, guys, this is Frank Chin with REIClub.com bringing you another uh, tip on uh, real estate seminars. Do me a favor, leave a comment below about what you thought about the video. Click the like button because it really does help us out. But more importantly, subscribe to our YouTube channel so we can keep you informed when brand new videos are posted every week. As usual, thank you so much for your time. I look forward to talking to you next week. Take care, good investing, and bye-bye.